I guess what is Doom not ported to is the better question. Got some kind of sword up there. Dude, this flight is like completely necessary. Or this glide. I feel like it should have just kind of been a part of my ability set, maybe. Alright, what do we got down here? I do you like that we're getting healed constantly? So far, it's not bad in terms of any sort of difficulty. I feel like the map is kind of uh, not as memorable in a way. I don't know what it is. I feel like if I had to backtrack and recall my way through these areas, I might have a little bit of trouble. Doom 2! Holy shit. Those probably were awful. <laughs> oh, we're just in here. That skull is unkillable, I guess. I guess being on that platform is just too good for for them to let me do it scot-free. Oh, we get a double hit there. If we're uh, going to time it properly. Ow. Ow. Alright. I said it wasn't very hard. We're getting fucked in the corner right now. The tail is in a, you know, it's so big that I can't really get by it. We're actually just stuck. Oh, I've seen it. I just don't remember anything ever. Was I dealing less damage because I was poisoned as well? Or was I always dealing five? Alright, let's select data. The chapel. 13% done already? What the fuck? This game's short. And it can serve all of our little spear tosses, as many as we can at least. We gotta be aggressive here. I feel like we could bait the tail attack and get a double hit, like, probably pretty consistently. Oh my god, dude, I'm getting stuck! The hit's done. Holy shit. Man, we could have done that even faster if we got multiple tail hits. Just one time we got a double, uh, spear toss. But we probably could have done that even more frequently. Also, how does this boss deal with us like going all the way up here? Or is there a reason I can't go that way during the fight? Something blocking it, maybe? Easy peasy. Oh, is that a body piece we got? Silk robe. More int, less defense, though. Only one less defense. Might as well throw it on. Holy shit. Oh my god, this room is insane. Is this the guy we have to hit him in the head? Yes. Oh my god, that's so annoying. <laughs> Crazy. That guy is more difficult to fight than the actual boss. Just because of how erratic his movement is. We got the flea man. All right. Cloth tunic. Little flea man dropped it. Hold on. What if we do this? I was hoping there was going to be a really good prize in there because it was out over the, uh, highest part of our jump there. Dude, why are you so durable, man? 
collecting ten dollars. Very important job. The study. All right, goodbye, Durga. Got a cup of coffee. It's kind of a shame, actually, that these early Game Boy games look so bad, mainly to make them easier to view on the dark screen. Named after Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my god, she's throwing cats! Damn, so we can get double hits on, uh... <laughs> that didn't sound good because... <laughs> because, uh... That band's not that old. You should have picked, like, a super old band. Yeah, bastard sword. Oh, is this gonna be the slow? No, it's not. Oh my god. Nice level up. I have a weird pet peeve that I know is gonna be abused now if I talk about it. <laughs> but it's a. Uh, I hate fake game trivia that like sounds pretty real and that people think is real. Something about it just pisses me off so much. Like the classic one that one of my friends brought up and I was just, just like, shut the fuck up. Because he actually thought it was true. Um, the one that is like, oh, it's called Final Fantasy because it was like their last shot at like making a game that was successful. Eighty-three. Damn, they're older than I thought. What the fuck? I guess it was more the style to name stuff after like 70s bands, I think. But that's uh I guess we can't get that yet. That's the uh the thing I hate. There's another one that Ah, is so notorious. It always comes up and it's just not true. But I can't remember what it is now. Fuck. The Fleeman. Whoa, shit. Dark Souls? Ectoplasm? I mean, anything's believable if you're ignorant enough, right? She's shooting like... Tit beam? What's happening with that? I think that Final Fantasy one is the first, just the first one that comes to mind that I just fucking hate. Okay, I was really worried about that guy fucking me up. I'm like dangerously low on health, but I just refuse to heal. It's gotta be a save around here somewhere, right? Right here. Called it. My other specific pet peeve. Praise the sun. My other specific pet peeve is when people call Donkey Kong Country 2 Diddy Kong's Quest. But I think I've talked about that already in scarily recent history. I don't know what it is, it just pisses me off. Probably because the title is a really, really good play on words, and to ignore it is a fucking crime. Yeah, who are you? I'm Yoko Belnades. You've met Eluka. I mean, Genya. <laughs> this is nice. 
Oh, so you've met Alka. I did meet him, but. He's actually quite a decent guy. My powers are dark. But. Did I say something? I. Well, that's what she said. Essentially. <laughs> what? <laughs> Rule over monsters. Dark power. That doesn't mean it's evil. It's like a weapon. I feel like this writing might be shit. Thanks, Yoko. I'm not used to being thanked. Have you seen a man named Graham? I met him earlier. Be wary. He did not look like a bad guy. And I've got a bridge to sell ya. <laughs> what the fuck is this dialogue? Do you mean Alucard? Excuse me, I didn't mean Alucard, I meant, uh... Whatever that fucking guy's name was, I don't even remember. That's fair. I know this song and dance. Swing it. Swing it. Oh, good dodge. OP. Oh, he doesn't burst into flames. He just kind of disappears. I feel like Castlevania has a really cool world, but the writing necessarily isn't quite what, uh, what you might want it to be. Does that door mean a boss fight? I wasn't paying that much attention, really. Okay, weird head. The fuck? Okay. I guess that's what we were supposed to do there. <laughs> Dude, these multi-hits are nuts! Dude, I was so thinking of playing one of the... One of the PS2 Castlevania games today, but it would have been too much effort to like download it and trying to get it to run on my PS3. Whip sword. That sounds cool. It's the same stats, but it's extendable, so maybe the range is better. Ooh. I like the little effect of it, uh, bouncing back too. That looks kind of neat. Papa. It looks like he's actually whipping it like across his body. And it's believably retracting. Great armor, man. Oh, we have to hit his feet, dude. It is Dark Souls. This whole thing is just Dark Souls. I was gonna say, is he gonna do anything? Ow. God, this range is really good. He's so slow. Alright. Not very intimidating for a knight that's like fucking massive, but whatever. So does that get me anything when I get those orbs or is that just a heal? Like I don't get any abilities from that. Oh, what's a child like yourself doing in a place like this? Hammer. Army ordered me to come here. He just bailed on his... This dude's admitting to be fucking... AWOL. So he just opened a shop? What? None of this makes any sense. <laughs> See you around. I was on a mission from the army, so I... And I ended up in a place I didn't expect, so I just said fuck it and abandoned. And then opened a store. 
There's the double jump. No cool visual effect? I don't get like wings? That's a bit of a bum ski. I guess also the downside of this whip is it doesn't cancel when you touch the ground. Bit of a shame. Because the other ones you can swing and then can it'll cancel when you hit the ground. Fuck. I greeted. You like the petrification in these games. It's kind of fun to like mash out and how the stone like slowly falls off your body. Just a neat, neat effect. Let's make sure we hit up everything we can on the way back. Just because uh, this area seems a little remote to some extent. Not 100% sure when we'll be back this way. The lower corner of this room was a, a slidey that we couldn't get. Alright. The other troubling thing with the Game Boy's washed out visuals in this game particularly is that like this platform it kind of blends in with the background a little bit not great but thankfully the SP saved us or stone there you go get those double hits Rock armor. Make sure we cover all our bases here. I guess there's just nothing there. Huh. My god, we're cursed. Fuck. Why is there nothing in the corner of these rooms? You'd think. <sighs> I guess we'll go back and fucking... Oh, I'm just kidding. I thought the curse was going to stay on without using an item. I didn't see what item we got because the enemy name card appeared. I think it was an uncursed thing. Uncursed potion. Which, those two things could coexist on the screen at the same time. Maybe I just missed it. Because they don't overlap each other. Never went this way. Let's... Wow, candle. We sure missed out the first time. Got a sword there. So now we can actually get up into the right here. There's a lot we can actually check out. Amazingly. Going that really quick. nothing. We can cover a lot of horizontal ground with our little hover thing as well, which is kind of crazy. Heart pendant. A heart shaped pendant. One luck for one defense. I think I'm good, actually. That's not so exciting. I typically don't like to go lucky, like invest in luck, unless we're really like digging deep into luck. Like if we're getting crits like every other hit, then I'll invest in it, but Evil Butcher. Hmm, is this just like the regular knife? Yeah. I'm guessing this doesn't pierce enemies? No. Let's use the spear. I think that's a lot better. Sick level up, bro. Yeah, just the ability to pierce is, is really nice. Plenty of times that we've killed multiple enemies with one toss. Alright, we can go... Going to the left doesn't do anything for us. Might as well go up. 
Yeah, there's a leftmost door that we just never went in. I wonder if there was something blocking me that I didn't mentally internalize. <laughs> that guy just left his spear on the platform. He threw it, but he was already at the platform, so it just uh, disappeared. Yeah, upper left here. You remember this guy. Jumping while taking... Jumping while taking damage restores health? What? Alright, let's put that on and see how that works exactly. Jumping while taking damage. Not taking damage while jumping. Okay. Oh, can we make this now, actually? These guys are, like, not really fighting me. It's kind of obnoxious, actually. Yeah, look at that. Insanity. Oh, shit. Fuck, man. Alright. Oh, my God. He's dropping down. Nice. Fuck you. That dealt. These guys deal seven on contact. I'm gonna see if I can. I I don't understand what that what that ability means. I push jump while taking damage. Nothing really seemed to happen. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Get owned. Just outrange everything. We don't have to interact with it then. I do like that strategy. So we're entering into a whole separate section here. I'm guessing one of these rooms on the left is going to be a save. Perhaps. Got anti venom. All right, up, up, up. Save room. A warp room looks like. Can we warp to a warp room we've never been to? It was highlighted. What? That seems broken. Why can't I go here? That don't make any sense. Very careful of our health, though. Very vertical room here. Alright, not bad. So far, nothing too dangerous. That looks really dank. Big evil looking sword. Okay, it takes five hits on those guys. Holy shit. Killer doll, too bulky. That also takes five hits. Had me a little nervous. Is this a mist? A mist thing, looks like. Three, four, five. I guess we need mist to proceed further. We got this. I played enough Dark Souls to know. Holy shit, big damage. Oh my god, our fist gets huge. That looks so dumb. Alright, I guess I guess we'll try it fast. Wasn't there punching in Symphony and wasn't it just like not as silly looking? Don't quite remember. Alright, we gotta get to this save room like ASAP. We make the stock punch sound effect though. 
the whack. We have to go right side and down. Boned. Here we go. Now we're safe. I guess we could check out while we're over here that um little underwater segment where we could double jump up probably now. I feel like this weapon might be complete ass. Maybe we shouldn't use this. Really short range. Uh, does cancel on landing though. So that's nice. All right. Let's see what we can do here. God, this shit's so far away. What the fuck? Forgot how long this hallway was. Oh, I guess we can't. What the shit? Ugh, so annoying. So we wasted our time. That's always fun. Is this really all there is to the map? No way, right? I mean, I expect this to be shorter than Symphony, obviously, but... seems pretty small. It's your Castlevania on the go. To be fair though, I like how um, there's not so much exposition in this. I feel like the story stuff is quite obvious as well. Like clearly we're the one who's going to inherit the power or whatever. Because we're already in the castle doing that as we speak. What RE am I supposed to? Fires a water pistol? What RE am I supposed to stream? Oh, Merman, it's right here. Let's put the sword back on. This thing sucks dick. Alright, we're slaving. That does not look like water. <laughs> They tried. Hmm. I don't find that very convincing, but. Let's put the, the spear back on. Operation Raccoon City. Hmm. I was thinking about playing one of like the uh, light gun third first person shooter ones at some point just playing with a controller raccoon but I don't know I like weird and dumb shit but even those probably aren't that good very nice you missed fuck We got axe armor. Throws axes. So is that going to be like how he throws them or how axes are normally thrown in Castlevania? It is like how he throws them. So it's like the cross, which I do like the cross. Oh yeah, we're going we're gonna to make some good use out of this. Uh, do we miss something in there? I wish we could look down. Hold up. Let's go check. Nothing. What the fuck? I don't know. I feel like I've beaten just like every... Every Resident Evil game. Revelations 2. I played a little bit of that before. October. But that game was dog shit. Uh, Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles? No, there's um there's PS2 ones which are 
Is it Survivor? Gun Survivor? Something like that. I think they're on PS2. The Dance Hall. We got like fucking circus music. What is this shit? Strange, I sense dark power within you. Who are you? It is rude to ask questions before introducing yourself. Good old Jay. Nah, I don't like those games very much. At least I don't think I do. I don't I don't think I like Dark Side Chronicles very much, and I think Umbrella Chronicles is like just okay. I have an amnesia. This guy's full of shit. Deadly Silence. I really want a copy of Deadly Silence, actually. I'm sad that I never got it, because it's pretty expensive now. I have magical powers. Goodbye. I mean, Deadly Silence is just the first one, but there's... There's only touchscreen stuff, really, if you play... God, it's, it's like a special mode. It's got a special name. Renan, how you doing, girly? Get fucked. Fuck the ghost dancer. I wanted to say it was called like alternative mode, or it's got like a really generic name, I think. Get fucked. Yeah, I think the uh, the speed of this weapon definitely is makes it more worth using. And that other one. Like one or two damage doesn't mean shit when you can put out attacks like much faster. Oh my god, this guy's just a regular guy now. Oh, Mikey's streaming? We'll tell Mikey hi. Mikey's been streaming a lot. Wooden golem. Holy shit. He was ready to uppercut me. Oh my god, dude did uppercut me. Why is this guy so bulky? Jesus, man. He's made of wood. Two, three, four, five. Yep, it's still five hits. That's why... It, Using the little chain whip is only better if it reduces the number of hits it takes. Which it does not. Twink. 